Now let's move them. Oh my god. I'm going to show you how thick some of those salmon pieces are in a minute. I think they're trying to get me to have to pay for this, that is for sure. Those are huge. You know what's something we haven't done in a, such a long, 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 long time? All you can eat sushi, and you people love all you can eat sushi. It is so highly requested. There's so many people that say they love the sushi videos. Well, guess what? We're bringing it back, everybody. 2024, well, it came in with a bang, I guess. Well, the sushi will come in with a bang, we'll put it that way. So we're going to a restaurant, which I actually went and did a video at over like four-ish years ago, which is nuts. This place is called Jukai. It's in Dartmouth, Nova Scotia, basically Halifax, Nova Scotia. Now this place was excellent quality four plus years ago. Is this gonna be the same? I heard it is. I heard it's still really good. Usually I go to another location, uh, similarly located, uh, which is one of my favorite, maybe my favorite all you can sushi ever, but this place, due to their recent photos, have the craziest, biggest pieces of salmon sashimi I've ever seen. So what we're gonna do, let's make it a little fun. Let's raise the stakes. So the cost, I think it's about 35, 36 bucks for the all you can eat, which is fine. They're only opening like for a dinner, all you can eat, if that makes sense. So between I believe, 4 p.m. and 10 p.m. We're gonna be there like pretty much probably like 4.20, 4.30, like pretty much right when they open to make sure we have adequate time. Hopefully it'll be slow. Um, I can't imagine it being busy right away. It's like also a Wednesday, so it's during the week. But let us see really how many pieces of sushi we can eat. I mean, pff, I don't know, like, especially if they're huge. I mean, it's gonna vary, but I don't know. What's, hey mom, what's a lot of sushi? 20 pieces? 20. All right, well, I think we'll eat a few more than 20 pieces, but at that, I'm here visiting my parents, by the way. Uh, let's go, it's fun, eat some food, and at that, sushi, let's go. Hi, everybody, so we made it on in. Few differences, cause I was here, you know, many years ago, but now the uh, service, self-service bar, you should have like pineapple, and little like trinkets and desserts on, it's no longer self-serve up there. Um, what we do have is the iPad menu. So this is crazy, I cannot believe. It's literally been four years since I've been here. So anyway, um, pretty awesome. You know, you go through it, you pick your items, you order. One thing which I will applaud, and this is the only all-you-can-eat sushi I've ever seen anywhere, is if you select an item, you can actually potentially modify it. So it's not just what you get is what you get. So you can be like, add spicy, add tempura bits, add avocado. So super impressed with that, because again, that's the only place that, uh, that I've ever been to an all you can eat where you can like really request specialties. So that's super cool. But anyway guys, like we said, we're going big, we're going home. It's been over, a, it's been all, uh, like a year and a half since we've done sushi, so let's hit it. Let's have some fun. And with that, let's get this challenge started. All right, so this is what I'm finding. Unfortunately, there is no tuna sashimi at a dinner price of $34. I do usually see that. That being said, we got basically salmon, mackerel, and butterfish sashimi, a couple other ones. But anyway, I ordered like about 30 pieces of sashimi to start. Then we're gonna move on to a call like a bit of a sample order where I'm gonna like try a couple different sushis, a couple of maki rolls, see what we like. And then that's where we're gonna hit and go from there. But of course I had to start with the sashimi. And to make an example for the children, I did start with a couple house salads and or edamame. Not gonna lie, it's moving pretty slow. So uh, I ordered this. So we have something to start with. And if you're not familiar, edamame is a very common appetizer you'd see the place as such. It is basically steamed, salted soybeans, which you kind of see like split peas, but seeing how long these take him, maybe I better, uh, Put in a few more orders, get a few things going. All right, everybody, so I was uh, starting to get a little, yeah, yeah, yeah. let's put it that way. Um, 30 minutes later though, we do have a plate of sashimi. This is supposed to be 30 pieces. What I will applaud is the size of these salmon pieces. These are thick, fat cuts, like holy crap, look at that. That is impressive. So 
Let's try it out, and if it's good, we're gonna order some more right away. So, just with a little soy. It is good, it is good. Let's try the uh, snapper. Pretty good. Mackerel. It's mackerel, usually it's pretty fishy. Not my favorite, but it does taste good. Um, butterfish, let's see what that's like. It is good. And butterfish is escalar, which is like, some people are like, oh my gosh, it gives you gastrointestinal distress. It doesn't give me that. But what I will say, is it is pretty good. It's, uh, solid. I'll put it that way. But anyway, I sent in the other rolls, my test order, but let's order another, I'd say, 15 salmon, maybe a, uh, whoops, maybe a 10 butterfish, Order some more snapper too. I'm really liking the snapper. And really, besides that, and uh, egg and shrimp, that's really all the uh, sashimi they have. Oh, and they have surf clam. We'll get a surf clam. But I do enjoy the sashimi. That is for sure. Now let's make it 20 salmon. And that being said, Fire away. I think that's going to be the key by the look and feel and sound of it. Which I'm not really sure why, but things are moving pretty slow, we'll put it that way. But I do like me some sushi. So, like I said, now none of the other fish are as impressive slice, but look at the size of that. Very, very, very impressive. Salmon. Yum. Let's hope this next order doesn't take 30 minutes. So I may or may not have about 37 maki and or sushi ordered and about 65 pieces of sashimi. Made a bit and off a bit more than we can chew, I'll put it that way. That was a lot. Maybe I didn't mean to order quite that many, but, and we do have to pay for anything that we do not eat at regular price. It says on the menu, they've told me a couple times. That being said, I'm very hungry and it's, I'm not sure, like, the re when I got, I got here, the restaurant was, there was one table, and me. Now there's definitely a couple other tables, so I'm really hoping that 30 minutes is not going to be the standard, but let's see how this comes. I put no orders in anyway, guys, so that puts us, I don't know, uh, over a hundred, about 140-ish pieces of sushi once this order is done, so let's see what this is all about. So I do a lot of timing in my videos, but I don't always know what time it is. So first I'd like to thank sponsor this video being Holzkern. So Holzkern is a brand from Austria, which makes awesome watches for men, women, also different jewelries with, let's say, reminders of nature. This is called the Cairo. This is the watch I picked. It's actually super sturdy and it's made with wood. So does maple wood in the band and the face is marble. So because they're using natural products, each piece is technically one of a kind, which is pretty cool. The woods they're using are FSC certified and there's actually a whole bunch of physical shops across like Germany, Austria. But of course you can grab one online like I did. And with a thousand different fashionable pieces for men and women, there's loads of options. And like I said, everything from wood to marble to well, let's 
let's just say really unique, individualized, personalized items. And Holes Kern itself actually means wooden core. So it's kind of cool. It's like they're keeping, you know, nature really at the core of their product. But you can go check out all the options and find something for yourself at holeskern.com forward slash Joel Hansen. Link down below. And if you use the code Hansen, H A N S E N, you actually get a discount. So, like I said, check out that link down below. Use my code Hansen. And at that, let's get to the rest of the video. All right, got some of the items. I feel I'm still maybe missing some, but anyway, they didn't have the tuna sashimi, but what they did have is tuna hand rolls. So, I figured this was going to be the way to get the most tuna for our buck. Now, what I will say is, while some of these rolls, like this, let's say salmon avocado roll, which looks good good proportion of fish it's not overly 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 large look how big this roll is this is ginormous this is a spicy tuna roll so anyway i got a spicy tuna roll a spicy salmon roll two pieces of tuna nigiri a salmon avocado roll and a barbecue eel roll pretty much like that so let's see what this is and then i still should have a pink uh, a pink lady roll coming, which is one of my favorites that they usually have here. It is a smoked salmon on a crab roll. Sounds, yes, it sounds as good as it, it uh, tastes as good as it sounds. Um, so hopefully we'll get that here. And then besides that, uh, thank you so much. Appreciate it. Um, besides that, I think then it's just, hmm. I don't know if they have any more coming, but then 65 pieces of sashimi. So anyway, let's try the, uh, well, let's start with just the, tuna nigiri, get a little soy action, mm. I wouldn't order it again, yeah, wouldn't do it again, let's try this hand roll though, so I don't normally order hand rolls, it's not a thing I'm usually big on, but let's give it a try. And there we go, guys. We've got uh, two pieces of uh, octopus sashimi, three surf clam sashimis, and a uh, two barbecue eeled sushis, nigiris. Um, actually, let me try the uh, let me try the surf clam and these items first before I get into that. I always still like to start with the basic more items first. So, surf clam, I'm never usually big on. That's actually a pretty good shrimp though. Mm. Sometimes I find it's quite fishy, which is not octopus. Not bad. I'll try the eel here. Now, after the hand roll, which I'm totally just going to take with all the little glob wasabi, pour some soy in it, see if that's all that. I'm not gonna lie. Not bad. Like I said, I'm not the biggest uh, hand roll person always, but with some wasabi. Maybe I'll try a little ginger in it. Whoopsie. And a little soy. It's not bad. It's at least a good portion of tuna in it. A lot of rice too, but... I don't complain. Let's try the salmon avocado roll, which is salmon, avocado. And it is very good. I mean, the salmon's fresh. A little bit of richness to the avocado. That creaminess.
very good. Roll, like maki rolls usually with fish and avocado are some of my favorite anyway. This is spicy tuna, so it has a spicy mayo, tempura. The tuna and the avocado, which again, I'll applaud the amount of fish in here. There's about as much fish in this piece as there was on the nigiri piece. And it's pretty good. It's growing on me. Well, thanks for sure, though. These are some solid pieces. When it comes to the sheer size of them, pretty damn good. And this is spicy salmon. And then historically one of my favorite. Good amount of fish. Jump her a bit. Avocado. Pushing mayo. You know, it is good, but you almost don't need like the richness of that uh, mayo with that avocado. temptation to order more rolls, but knowing that you have 65 pieces of sashimi coming, it's dangerous. Barbecue yield roll. So, now this one, might be hard to see. Now this one, unlike the fish rolls, Not quite as much eel in it, but you can talk about rich with that fatty eel, sweetness that unagi sauce, and all that avocado. Woo! That one hits too. Barbecue eel sushi. It's torched. Well, yeah. Hey, it's pretty damn good. And I'm really hungry, so it definitely helps. All right, so um, we didn't get the pink lady roll yet, which one of my favorite rolls, still waiting on that. But look what we did get, everybody. We got a plate of fish. This is, I don't even know how much this weighs. Look at this, that is, that's probably like, I bet that could be two pounds of fish, minimum. That is, that's my hand, that is how, look at that, that's amazing. So, this is uh, 30, 35 or 40 of our 65 pieces we ordered. Whew. Like I said, that may, uh, may be a surprise. Oh, and perfect, look at that, here's that roll. Thank you so much, appreciate it. And speaking of which, there's that pink lady roll, one of my favorite, which I will try real quick. This is a spicy crab roll with a tempura bit and a smoked salmon on top. Oh yeah. Mm. One thing's for sure though. You wanna talk about rich? Oh yeah. Holy crap. All right, one of my favorite rolls. That smoked salmon on it just does something, you know? Oh, perfect. You just put it right here. Thanks so much. Appreciate it. And then that, there's the other sashimi. Okay, so, very slow start. Now let's move them. Oh my god. 
I'm going to show you how thick some of those salmon pieces are in a minute. I think they're trying to get me to have to pay for this, that is for sure. Those are huge. Mm. But, this pink lady. Mm. So much mayo. They're so good. This is just like a straight smoked salmon roll. That'd be awesome. The benefit of just getting all this at once, which is insane, is now I know what to expect. And like, that should be everything we ordered. Let me show you how thick some of these salmon pieces are. Look at this one right here. That piece of salmon is like an inch. It's about an inch thick. Pieces are getting bigger. Let's just say I think we're in for a bit of a ride, but hey, we came to eat some sushi. Not complaining. Let's see if I can even get through some of these. Oh my god, this is so huge! Jeez, these are big. It's good, but holy crap. I mean, it's a good problem to have. Usually. Maybe when you order 65 pieces with because you're eating with your eyes. Maybe not. Oh, these pieces are a bit cold. Which is not as nice as room temperature or warm. And even that butterfish, it is very thick. Yeah, a little cold for my liking, but. Still very good. But truth be told. This in front of me, it's crazy. Like, I seriously question if I could even go to the store, like go to a grocery store, and just buy, like, two, three pounds of fish. Like what's in front of me for 34 bucks. And the fact that I'm already filling up, we're getting our money's worth today. Holy crap. I made a hundred and some pieces already. Woo! The one thing I normally like to do, which they didn't have in the menu, Let's we'll get some avocado nigiri. And I'll take that with a piece of sashimi and eat together like an oversized kind of maki roll. But they did not have the avocado uh, nigiri on the menu. This is insane. Seriously, guys, even like a la carte restaurants, and I can say I've been to restaurants all over the world. These are actually some of the biggest pieces of sashimi I have ever been served. That is impressive. So Jukai, cheers to you. Everybody, that is so much. Any other all-you-can-eat restaurant, even standard sushi restaurant, like these pieces are two to three of like the standard. So. Excuse me. So let's say between these and 65 pieces, easily pieces to all, easy equivalent to like a hundred at another restaurant. Especially this, Sam, it's crazy. Like these are so big. I'm actually shocked, I really am, so. Eat 
fucking shame. Yeah, so I actually have to eat about three or four. No, that's three. It's not even a stick. I would have to eat five pieces of the snapper for it to be as thick as the pieces of salmon. That's insane. Yeah, there is, there is, there is no way we're hitting a high number today. But don't get me wrong. I'm not down playing 140 pieces, but. With how big these are? Crazy. One thing is for sure. Guys, I think I literally just probably about three pounds of straight fish. That is insane. Absolutely insane. I'm truly mind boggling. But what I am going to do, I think, is now I got a feel of, you know, how much room I have in my stomach. I have a little bit. So I'm gonna order a few rolls. And save these to mix in with the rolls. Just don't get me wrong, this is great, but. I literally just ate countless pounds of raw fish, which is insane. Still in shock and impressed. I oh, forgive the very slow start at the beginning for how crazy this is. Nuts. But I'm gonna order a couple rolls and then finish off the last 11 pieces here. All right, so we got a couple of our sushi pieces here. Um, so what I got, I got a salmon rose, which is basically mayonnaise, salmon roe, and then a uh, salmon wrapped around a bed of rice. Here I have what is, I believe, two, maybe three? I'm not sure what that one is, but two spicy salmon. This is a spicy crab. I think this is maybe spicy salmon too? I don't know, all I can see is mayonnaise. No shortage of mayo on that. All these will be a very much different taste and diverse break from our three plus pounds of straight fish, which I'm not complaining. Just that is a lot of straight fish to eat, we'll put it that way. Especially casually, this is just, well, this isn't really casual, let's be honest, but somewhat. So these are historically some of my favorite kind of sushi. I mean, it's salmon, spicy mayo, and rice. This is probably one of the few applications that I like mayonnaise and items, so let's see what it's all about. And I gotta say, despite that being rich enough to kill a cow, yum. Like, yum yum. Like I may have to order more of those. The one customizable um, option there is not is light mayo or light sauce. Trust me, I looked. That with half the mayonnaise, it's delicious, but a lot of mayo. Anyway, try this crab. Mm -hmm. Not quite as good as that spicy salmon, but pretty damn good. The salmon rose. You'd think I like salmon or something, you know what I mean? Just, it's all right. I tell you though, everybody, holy jump, it's like how big that is. I like salmon a lot, but 
A lot of it's just because it's kind of, it's not too many options otherwise. But that being said, I have a good um, three or four different rolls coming um, that we ordered as well along with this. So it should come soon, hopefully. As I did have to wait a bit for that last order, but now it makes sense. It's busy in the restaurant. And now I expect to. Empty restaurant, if you're waiting for no apparent reason, I don't know. But anyway, I'll tune in when we get our rolls. All right, got some more rolls. So I got a pink lady, one of my favorites. And then I got a spicy tuna and a salmon avocado. Those are the ones I was kind of most impressed with last time. I actually also put in another order. So this plus the other coming, we should have 39 pieces uh, on the way. Honestly guys, that is damn good. And the sweetness of the crab, the richness of that mayo. And the richness of smoked salmon. And then that little bit of smoke. Umami of the soy. Very good. I already have another one of these on the way, but... I may have to do another. All right. Sam Avocado? Hmm. I was gonna say, something's not right. The avocado is not right. It's crazy how much that changes it. Not having that rip, that ripe, buttery, sweet avocado. It's more hard and kind of bitter and chalky. That was nice earlier. It's earlier, but try the uh, spicy tuna. Again, very impressive size. I mean. This is the biggest one yet. But I will say, this is good. Impressive. I think they put a piece of salmon in this one, look. Cause you got red and then like orange fish. Half and half, spicy tuna and salmon. Kinda odd, but nonetheless. Two pieces of sashimi left. A handful of rolls on the way. And that's a lot of food. I don't know an exact count. I'll get one later, but we got to be near 190, 180, 200. Well, I'm, sure I'm filling up. I'll put it that way. So I don't know if they'll do too much more. But uh, they have some pineapple. Mitten some pineapple. Maybe a little something sweet will help change it up. Maybe I'll try some like unagi eel, a little sweetness, but heavy, heavy. Hi everybody, some of the last, just a couple of uh, uh, spicy sand sushis that I'll complete everything I'd ordered. And then I'll put in another order. It's a bit slower, but it's okay. So here we have the uh, unagi roll, the eel roll again. Lots of tempura in it this time. See that one's all like? Not bad. 
I mean, the avocado's not quite as nice earlier, but. The sweet unagi sauce makes up for it. I'll tell you one thing though, I ain't got much room left, everybody. I'm filling up. But that is pretty much everything, with the exception of the spicy salmon sushis, I think. I don't know, but I was going to order some more. I didn't even order some more. I think about pineapple on the way. That might maybe help me feel a little better, but... Jeez Louise. Yeah, no shortage of food, I'll put it that way. Yeah, I should have um, five spicy salmon sushi going. That might have to be it. Big roll. Fun fact though, I think it's the first time in a sushi restaurant in like forever where I didn't even finish a whole bottle of soy. Now this one's extra big, don't get me wrong, we still went through like probably 75%. But that just goes to show how much of what we ate today was just sashimi and nothing to do with rice because the rice obviously absorbs it, right? But that straight fish, very marginally, right? So. It wasn't because we ate less, yeah, that's for sure. Oh boy. Whew. Well, I'll see if these last sushis come, then I think we're we'll calling everybody. Oh. No shortage of food. So, overall, according to my quick calculation, I think that puts us at 172 consumed, 177 ordered, because there's about five sushi that we're waiting on. I'm not sure if it's going to come. Also, some pineapple and some cantaloupe. Um, I don't know guys, I've been waiting now almost 40 minutes. I appreciate that it's busy, but if I don't get anything here soon, like the sushi soon, I'm just gonna head out. That being said, I'll give you my final thoughts now, might as well while we're waiting. Bit of a slow start, but I gotta say, the size of the sashimi, that salmon sashimi, was nuts. Were things good today? Yes, definitely. What I really enjoyed, I think, um, the pink lady roll, which I always enjoy, that's the crab salad with the smoked salmon, the spicy salmon sashimi, no, sushis or nigiris, which I'm waiting on. Um, those were very, very enjoyable. I liked the, really enjoyed the first round of the spicy tuna rolls and the spicy uh, salmon rolls and the salmon avocado rolls. Second at salmon avocado roll was not that great, but the second spicy tuna was yeah but overall guys pretty impressed i'm super impressed with sashimi really it makes the all you can eat well worthwhile even at you know 35 bucks i have no complaints at all um, the staff have been friendly busy but that's totally fine uh, but yeah so i guess pretty much it guys so we'll say 40 bucks I got no complaints. So, Chukai still is good four years later. Uh, but that being said, well, I can't even say come when it's not busy. I was here right after they opened. So, hopefully they will expedite it. But that being said, guys, really appreciate you guys. So, yeah, Dartmouth, Nova Scotia, good to be back. And then I want to close the next up. So happy, I was hungry, happy eating. Long time awaiting us to do a sushi video. Like I said, it's been about a year and a half. So, you guys love the sushi videos. I like them too. But that is enough for today. We'll put it that way. Especially if the... Oh. Thank you. Hey, we got the pineapple and the cantaloupe. This pineapple actually looks good. All right. 
I mean, I already kind of said goodbye, but keep you around, we keep you around. Hello? I'll put it this way. I would never buy a cantaloupe here in Atlantic Canada. And that cantaloupe reaffirms that. Well, this pineapple looks good. The pineapples here are stupid expensive at the stores. See this cantaloupe, six dollars plus. Pineapple cup. Although I didn't bring my tahini. That's where it's at, pineapple and tahini. Alright, anyway, I gotta go, so we kind of ran out of time. So even if they're coming, I'm just gonna tell them no. But appreciate y'all, everybody. So, until next time, have a day. And just as I was gonna leave, they showed up. I've already had my pineapple, I already had my dessert, so. Oh well. Thank you. So nonetheless, not as good as the first one. Those were my favorite pieces of the night, but nonetheless, now it's officially goodbye. Over 177-ish, maybe more, but at least 177. 13 pieces of fruit, 190 pieces of stuff from Sushi Restaurant.